Now, I am, the next I am going to move on to Kaveri. Kaveri, as Professor Ayer was mentioning, is one of the most important rivers uh, providing the uh, uh, drinking water to, uh, no, not uh, irrigation water as well as drinking water and water for industries for two, two states, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. And uh, the main tributary is of Bhavani, Amravati, Kalingarain Canal, Noyal, and Kodaganar. Now, Bhavani, and you will see that all the five major tributaries in Tamil Nadu are so heavily polluted. And the, all the five, five major rivers are, uh, uh, you have got hundreds of tanneries, dying bleaching industries, the chemicals, and uh, all kinds of uh, sugar, paper, uh, and uh, municipal, it carries municipal waste. All the major towns, all the major towns in Tamil Nadu are located along the Kaveri and its tributaries. And my God, I mean, millions and millions and millions of liters of sewage is carried, and millions of liters of, millions of gallons of effluent is carried. Finally, it, it go, go, goes into the Kaveri main river, and then it takes the entire load. Today, in fact, in Tirichi district, which is actually somewhere uh, downstream, used to export a banana. The Tirichi banana used to be really, uh, used to carry very high value, uh, commercial value uh, uh, abroad. Today, the banana cultivated in Tirichi is not, there has no market. People are not buying because of the toxins that they find in the banana, banana fruit as well as in the raw banana. Now, this is the composite, uh, you know, uh, the Kaveri River. I, I mean, let me not spend time on it. And uh, this is how uh, the Kaveri catchment area is distributed. And you will see Tamil Nadu has the largest uh, area under uh, um, the catchment area of all the four. And uh, this is actually the river. Kaveri River in Metro looks very clean, but this is a, this is where the Metro Dam is constructed. This is where you got a complexed PVC industries and a large number of chemical industries are located very conveniently for the purpose of taking water from the river and also for the purpose of dumping the pollution load back into the river. The river looks reasonably clean, but it's a dirty water, actually dirty water. And uh, this is the delta. You will see uh, from the Grand Anakat, uh, this is somewhere. Uh, uh, the, this is this is where it is actually you know uh, uh, Tirichi. This is where the uh, Kaveri Delta starts. Then it really it, it expands like this because of the plain region. It really uh, 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 you know divides into several small small rivers and streams, and then that forms the Delta. Today, the Delta region itself is now uh, heavily polluted uh, for two reasons. One, because of the reduced flow of water from the upstream because a large number of dams have been constructed and now a large number of users have emerged. Karnataka has built four or five dams, which never existed before 1972. Therefore, irrigation needs have gone up. Water needs for drinking industries have gone up. So people are using quite a large number. Therefore, the river, water flow itself got reduced to uh, the delta. Earlier, it used to be almost for 12 months, water used to flow. Today, it is not. So for, uh, it's to, therefore, you will see in, in, near the sea uh, on your left, um, most of the, they are all uh, hundreds of backwaters, backwater canals exist, used to carry fresh water. Today, you will see there's a reverse flow of water from the sea. Because for eight months in a year, seven months in a year, the river is dry. Therefore, there is a reverse flow of water from the sea that contributes to contamination because of uh, the salinity. So, both surface as well as the groundwater. And during the monsoon months, because of the severe rain, I mean, uh, heavy rainfall, you know, on a few days, delta is again flooded. Therefore, the northeast monsoon, as such, is not actually a boon, it's a bane, on the one hand. On the other hand, because of uh, the reduced flow, during the dry months also, it is getting the river, because of the river, reverse flow, it is getting the saline water. Therefore, the delta is very severely affected. What's the difference in the color code? No, there, no, no, it, 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 it makes no difference. And now I'm going to talk about uh, what is called a Noyal River, which is actually uh, the most important uh, 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 tributary of the Kaveri. I will put some, uh, I, I have to talk about it in somewhat greater de detail because Noyal is located in a big town called Tirupur. Tirupur is on the global uh, map because of uh, its uh, co the concentration of hoisery or knitwear industry there. We are exporting from Tirupur something like a 12,000 crores worth of knitwear products every year to uh, North America and uh, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and even to Russia. And we are the major players in, in South Asia and even in, in, in the entire Asia. We are the biggest exporters, and 70 to 80% of the knitwear products from India are exported from this particular basin, uh, Noyal. This is, uh, and it also gives employment to 200,000 people directly. 
two lakhs people are employed in this particular town. It used to be a small, obscure kind of a village kind of a town. Today it is a district headquarter with a population of something like four or five lakhs. The floating population is two and a half lakhs. It's a huge kind of a city now, and uh, the, the Noel River passes through that particular town. There are 900 dyeing and bleaching industries, about 600 to 700 knitwear, in, 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 knitwear industry, and then quite a large number of people are uh, uh, employed. Now, uh, the flip side of it is that in the dyeing and bleaching industry, every day, 80 to 90 million liters of water is used for the dyeing and bleaching process. And uh, they are supposed to be recycling this water of the court order, but then unfortunately they are not doing it. And either the industries are closed with the court order, uh, or they open it and they don't, uh, uh, they, they don't uh, actually treat the water for recycling. And they, when, I, when I contacted, uh, contacted uh, the uh, Tripur Exporter Promo Promotion Council, they tell me, if I treat the water, the cost of the t-shirt is going to go up uh, by 50 cents or 60 cents, then I lose the international market. Because of Bangladesh has absolutely no control. They can do anything they like. They can let effluent water anywhere they like. There is no control. Therefore, their prices are competitive, very, very low compared to our price. But then we are, since we, our clients are, uh, I mean, um, we, we got a large number of clients for a long time. Therefore, we are able to keep up with the market. Therefore, we cannot afford to increase the price anymore, which means we cannot treat the water. Therefore, the casualty is Noel River and then the Kaveri River and the environment. Agriculture is dead, absolutely dead. Therefore, people have migrated or selling over their land or they, get, they are employed, uh, more, some of them are employed in this <coughs> dyeing and bleaching industry and the knitwear industry. And uh, this is the state of the condition of the Noel River. And um, I, I, I just give you an example. Uh, 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 in 1997 or 8, when the dam was overflowing, when it was about to break, public house development had no other go except to open up the shutters because it was, otherwise it would have become a huge uh, disaster. And uh, the, uh, the dam, the water from the dam constructed across the Noel River was uh, gutted and was uh, overflowing. And then uh, thousands of animals um, dead after drinking that water. And then agriculture is completely dead because of that. Because the water spread, groundwater is actually polluted. And then it, it re really resulted in a big disaster. And uh, the severity of the situation was such that government was forced to release 20,000 cusacks of water from Metur upstream, from the upstream, with a view to reducing the pollution load in the Kaveri, even though it was a dry period. Even though it was a dry period, when there was no water, a little bit of water was existing in the Metur Dam, even that they had to open something like 20,000 cusacks to clean up the mess in the Noel River. Otherwise, it would have become a very big disaster. That was the... And now they do it every now and then, because during a heavy uh, flow season, it, it, it overflows. And then look at this picture. This is uh, one part of the Noel River when the, the this is a dry season actually. You see, they, they look at the froth and the pollution load. This is how it is. I mean, you really have to go and see to appreciate the, the intensity of the pollution. And uh, this is the dam constructed across the Noel River. This was a picture taken in the month of May and June. And uh, the, the dam is full actually. It's nothing but a flint. And it's a, the, the, actually, I, I'm not able to, uh, you're not able to see it. It's actually rose-colored water. You will see some kind of a smoke coming out of this water. You can see it, actually. You can see it. And uh, th this is uh, uh, one of the streams of the P Pala River. In fact, one of my associates is collecting the sample to test uh, the pollutants in it. And uh, this, is a, th this is a kind of a, uh, very easily they let out. And uh, another view of the dam. And uh, this is uh, the, the seepage water from the dam. In fact, these young girls, without really realizing you know, the, the dangers involved, they wash and uh, do bathing and all that. Now, I am going to take you on to Chennai from uh, Noel and Kaveri. This is the last part of my presentation. Uh, Chennai has got uh, uh, three or four important uh, uh, waterways considered actually the boon ones. But Chennai was endowed with the water, uh, waterways. Therefore, we did, uh, 40, 50 years ago, Professor Iyer might be knowing because he, has, uh, he lived in Chennai. It used to be such a fantastic scene of uh, uh, Buckingham Canal and Adyar River, Coon River cry, carrying the fresh water. In fact, I myself have seen uh, some uh, two, three decades ago, washermen used to wash their clothes in the Coom and Adyar River. Water was not that bad. Today, it is uh, actually carrying entire sewage of uh, Adban and Chennai and its Periaban area. 
and thousands of industries, refineries, and thermal plants existing uh, uh, all along. Uh, the entire load is lit into it. In fact, there are uh, uh, 700 or 800 uh, <coughs> outfalls uh, into this river, and all these outfalls are uh, uh, just a sewage or effluent load, uh, freely, very, very freely let into this river. And government of India have spent thousands of crores on what is called uh, um, river, uh, um, what is that scheme called? Uh, some uh, uh, river restoration scheme. And uh, they, they had this plan in uh, even in Ganges, in, in all the states. They got away uh, under the Ministry of Environment and Forest. They spent thousands of crores in, in this particular scheme called River Restoration Scheme. And they did that also in, the, in Chennai, in restoring a Palar and a Kuom. Unfortunately, they cleaned the river without really blocking the outfalls. What's the point? You clean on one side, on the other side, the outfalls of uh, the effluent is uh, coming. What's, what's the big deal in, do that, the, in doing that kind of uh, stupid uh, river cleaning? Therefore, the, uh, the, 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 the problem remains.